with iPadOS 13.4, we got trackpad support, which has been great. Um, until that point, I've been using this. This is an MX Master. I don't even know what version. MX just says MX Master on the bottom, so a version one mouse, which has been going strong, and I've been loved it. Like it's been my mouse of choice. Kids chewed it. Eh. For a long time, <laughs> it survives kid bites. Um, for years, I don't even know how long. Uh, since I was running a Hackintosh on a Dell Mini 10 or something like that. Long time. Um, so I really like it. But then, when 13.4 came out, I bought one of these. This is an Apple Magic Trackpad 2. Because I literally had no trackpads. My Apple Magic Trackpad died. I had no way to test it, really. Aside of a bad keyboard case, which I will link above. Bad. Bad. It's bad trackpad on it. Keyboard case is actually okay. Um... And it's certainly inexpensive enough for the value you're getting. But don't buy it for the trackpad. Anyway, so now the question is, after a couple months now, how, what device am I using with my iPad? Am I using my mouse or am I using my trackpad? What's good about one? What's bad about it? So that you can make the choice. Buckle up. As we look at mouse support in iPadOS 13.4, let's actually start with the, the MX Master Mouse. There are lots of good things about this mouse. It's a nice mouse, it's comfortable, it has programmable buttons on it. That is a big thing for iPadOS. It lets you do stuff like I've programmed my right click to long press, All right? That shows up there. Actually seems faster uh, than recently, bringing up the context menu as far as a long press with a click. Um, it lets me scroll, right? I can scroll over here. That's great. I can access lots of stuff, right? If I pull down, uh, I can access the multitasking menu. I could do stuff with it there. The thing I can't do is I can't really flick away anything. I'm like, I can with the uh, touchpad. I can access in an app. I can access slide over here. And I can access it, like all the different apps that are open. And I can get rid of it, right? Ugh. I can scroll. There's just lots of things that I can do uh, in an app that supports gestures. And I can't even do them really. I can do it here. Is there a swipe? Yes, is a swipe. Actually, kind of getting at what, what the meat of this is. So the nice thing about a mouse is it actually lets you go in and control buttons. This is under accessibility, devices, um, and then the mouse that I'm looking at. All right, devices, MX Master. And so you can see I have single tap for my main button. And there's a whole bunch of other stuff I can put in here, right? The app switcher, lock rotation, MX Master. Uh, I don't have button three programmed. I have Siri on button five. I don't even know what button five is, to be honest. That one there. Okay. No, go away. Hey, Siri here. Let me know if I can help. You can't. That's uh, this one, this top button on the side. Button three, I guess, would probably be the mouse wheel click. Oh, let's find out. Open them. Um, say analytics. Yep, there you go. Perfect. So now I know what the third button is. So it lets me do a whole bunch of stuff. Now, in theory, you can. Can you? So again, we're getting to some of the issues here, right? It's not scrolling. Yeah, so I can, in theory, put shortcuts in here as well, although last time I tried this, it doesn't work. So let me try, uh, not that one. Let's look for, oh, let's just open MusicBot Pro. Unbutton three. Hmm, it does work. No, it doesn't. I try that again. Back to home. Yep, it is working. So that MusicBot Pro is a, I'm not going to play anything actually, so let's just cancel this, is a shortcut from Federico Vitici at Mac Stories that does a whole bunch of music stuff. So that does work. That's great. 
Um, but you saw like scrolling was hard and then even here, right? There you go. We're getting, we can navigate back and forth by clicking to drag and get our different apps. We get the magnetic cursor in apps that support it, which is just normal, right? AI writer, right? AI writer supports it because they're using standard controls. So there's lots to like about this. Uh, I think that's a totally viable option, but Oh, there you go. Successfully gathered analytics. I don't actually care. I find the trackpad to be just simply more intuitive. All right, if I'm in an app, let's go back into Fiery Feeds, and if I want to get back to the home screen, a three-finger flick gets me back to the home screen. Uh, and if I go four fingers pinch in, it gets me to the multitasking screen easily. All right? I find, again, back to Fiery Feeds, getting into a slide over that way is much easier. A three-finger gives me the app switcher again. So um, if I go back to settings, let's go back, go back, let's find a like, menu, right? Scrolling works in this context. That's great. I think that overall it's got more utility here, uh, although in some places it doesn't work, right? You can't, I can't really, I can do this with my finger. It's my finger doing it now, All right? I can drag and drop, great. And I don't know if I can do it with the mouse. Let me try that. Can I do it with the mouse? No, still can't do that with the mouse. Um, yeah, and that's really it. I find that the trackpad itself is just a much easier device to control your iPad with. I find that you lose some of the buttons, some of the programmability, but the gestures you pick up absolutely make up for it without a doubt. It is just easier to use your iPad more more fun. It's easier to use all the gestures in your iPad with your trackpad than it is to kind of mimic a trackpad with your mouse because it just doesn't work as well. And that's it. So if you have a mouse already, then by all means, just use your mouse. It's good enough. Um, if you have both, then I haven't actually put my mouse in iPad mode for a long time since I got the trackpad. I stayed in connection one, which connects it over to my Mac there which is not going to find right now because it's not actually plugged. The device isn't plugged into my Mac. And I leave it here. And if I need to control my Mac, I do. And if I don't, I don't. Uh, usually I'm actually running dual systems right now with another keyboard here with my Keychron K2 and my iPad off to the side. That's it. If you liked the video, you can give me a thumbs up below. Thumbs up. If you loved it, you can. There's no such thing as double thumbs up, but double thumbs up, subscribe. Hit the bell because then uh, YouTube will let you know when new videos come out. And if you like absolutely just like me and love me, you can go to patreon.com slash Curtis McHale, where for as little as $5 a month, you can help make sure the videos continue. Have a wonderful day.